size, weight, image quality, brightness, and price. In this video, I'm gonna go over the main differences that you can expect between similar quality 8x42 binoculars versus a 10x42 binocular. Thus, no matter what your interest is, be that bird watching, general wildlife observation, general use, or even hunting, you'll be able to decide which configuration is exactly right for your specific needs and requirements. And we're gonna start right now. Hello and welcome to Best Binocular Reviews. My name is Jason. I received a lot of positive feedback on my last video where I compared 10x42 binoculars versus the 10x50 configuration. However, I also had a lot of people asking me to compare different combinations together. And therefore, I've decided to create a sort of mini Binar Wars series where I'm going to compare a whole lot of different combinations against each other so that you can decide which is best for your specific needs and requirements. And I'm going to start with the one that I get masked the most often, 8x42 binoculars versus 10x42, and which is best. Before we begin, it is important that you understand what it means when we refer to an 8x42, 10x42, or indeed any other combination. If you are unsure, please first take a moment to watch my video on what the numbers mean on a binocular. Link up above or down in the description below. Unlike binoculars that have different sized objective lenses, like for example the 42mm ones on the 10x42 versus the 50mm ones on the 10x50 that I used in my last video in the series. The disparity in the size and weight between an 8x42mm and a 10x42mm binocular is extremely minimal and really not worth worrying about. Indeed, most brands will list their 8x42 and 10x42 models within the same series as being identical in both size and weight. Size-wise, they will be the same, as most will almost certainly use the same body and other components. However, I have found that a 10x42 is often a fraction heavier than the 8x42 from the same series and brand, as they need slightly different lenses and often have thicker glass to create the higher power. But as I say, the amount we are talking about is really not worth considering as a factor in making a choice between the two. The whole purpose and indeed reason for using a binocular that magnifies the image is to bring you a better view of distant objects. Therefore, it is completely understandable why many people will assume the higher the magnification, the better. However, whilst it is true larger powered binoculars will bring you more image detail, they also bring with them a number of disadvantages. And ultimately, the right choice of magnification will come down to a number of factors that are particular to your specific needs and requirements. There is no doubt that a higher magnification potentially delivers greater image detail. Or to put it another way, you are able to see further um, in more detail with a higher powered binocular. But just keep in mind that any movement that you make in your hands gets multiplied by that magnification. And therefore with a higher powered binocular it is just that little bit harder to keep the image steady and shake free. And no matter how much image detail you're getting, um, if you can't keep it still enough, you're then not able to appreciate it. However, in my experience, most people are generally able to keep an image steady enough using a 10x42 binocular, not to have to worry too much about it. However, should you have particularly unsteady or shaky hands, the, uh, an 8x42 may be a better choice in this situation. If you get more image detail or are able to see further with a 10x binocular, you may then be thinking why would you ever opt for a lower powered 8x binocular instead? Well one of the main problems with a more zoomed in image on a higher power is that it also reduces your field of view. At long distances this is usually not much of a factor, but at closer ranges it can often mean that you don't see the whole picture and thus can often miss out some, some important details. So if we use a sporting event like baseball, cricket or football as an example, a 10 times binocular may provide you with a better view of the batsman or a person on the ball, but you won't be able to observe what's going on all around them, and thus, in many cases, an 8 times binocular with its wider field of view will be a better option as the best binocular for sports. Likewise, for uses like birding and wildlife observation at close to mid distances, a lower 8 times power with a wider view makes it much easier to quickly locate and then follow your subject. In a forest setting where your subject is difficult to spot in the first place, this can be a really important factor. 
as both 10x42 and 8x42 binoculars have the same 42mm diameter objective lenses, and assuming they both use the same quality glass and coatings, the light gathering ability between the two different configurations will be pretty much the same. However, even though they are both able to capture the same amount of light, the different magnifications mean that they will have different capabilities in terms of the image brightness and especially the low light performance. This difference between the two can largely be explained by the relationship between the size of the pupils in your eyes and the size of the shafts of light exiting the ocular lenses of the binocular, which is called the exit pupil. 8x42 binoculars create an exit pupil that is 5.25mm in diameter, while 10x42 binoculars create smaller exit pupils of only 4.2mm. In good to average light conditions, most people's pupils will constrict to a size smaller or at least equal to 4mm, and thus both the 8x42 and a 10x42 binocular will be supplying your eyes with more than enough light for you to work with and thus perceive a bright image. Thus under these bright or well-lit conditions, it is often impossible to notice the difference in brightness between the views of equal quality 8x42 and 10x42 binoculars. However, when the ambient light levels drops, like when operating in a forest or what you would experience just before sunrise or around sunset, the pupils in your eyes expand to allow them to take in more light. Here, the larger exit pupil created by the 8x42 configuration is a definite advantage and means they will often look to have a brighter image than the 10x42 equivalent. For more information on this, please be sure to check out my complete guide to the exit pupil. Links in the description as well as up above. Whilst nowhere near as big a factor as the exit pupil, higher magnifications require different and often thicker lenses which in turn means less light passes through them. So even though this difference in transmittance between an equal quality 10x42 versus an 8x42 binocular is extremely minimal, it is still there and is another reason why an 8x42 may seem to have a brighter image, especially in low light. The larger exit pupils, or to put it another way, the larger shafts of light exiting the eyepieces on an 8x42 binocular, make it easier for you to line up your eyes with those shafts of light. Therefore, 8x42 binoculars are just that much more forgiving and it is easier for you to achieve an image without any black rings forming on the edges of the view. This is something that's mostly important to beginner and novice users. Also important to remember is if you wear glasses whilst using your binoculars. 8x42 binoculars generally have a slightly longer eye relief and therefore you have more chance of being able to achieve the full field of view, again without any black rings forming on the edges, using an 8x42 versus most 10x42 binoculars. Whilst not always the case, and it varies between brands, 10x42 binoculars can sometimes be a little more expensive than the equivalent 8x42 model from the same brand and in the same series. And so for some users, this may be a factor in making their final decision. As I have said a number of times in the past, and is especially true when choosing between an 8x42 and a 10x42 binocular, there is actually no specific singular best option. Rather, it boils down to which is best for your specific needs and requirements. With its lower power and wider view, an 8x42 binocular is best at close to mid distances, especially if you need to follow small, fast or erratic moving objects like birds or other smaller mammals. 8x42s will also in many cases look to produce a brighter image in low light conditions and thus will make a better choice if you often operate in woodlands, forests or when the sun is at or just below the horizon. 10x42s work best in normal to good light conditions and over mid to long distances. Thus, a 10x42 binocular will suit those who mostly operate during the day in wide open spaces. So for example, in fields, out on the hills, along a lakefront or at the coast. So there you have it. I do hope that this video has been of both use and of interest to you. If it has, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see some more in the future, please do remember to subscribe. These are things that really do help me to bring you more and more content in the future. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Cheers for now.